was just misgendered in my local FedEx. Yep. The woman behind the counter asked her coworker, Did you help that guy yet? And after further observation, she goes, Or lady. See, immediately, my thoughts were, Cancel this woman. Ruin her entire life. Because she called me what I look like. Just kidding. That's what y'all would do. I, on the other hand, am aware that I look like a guy. Look at me! Am I a guy? Nope, just a d But, this is your message. If you look like a guy, they're gonna call you a guy. If you look like a chick, they're gonna call you a chick. Regardless of what you identify as. Okay? And stop taking it so personally. In fact, you'd be a little happier if you could laugh sometimes. Laugh at it. Ha ha, it's funny. It's funny, okay? It's funny. Just saying. Okay, bye. Oh my goodness. That's the most badass thing I've ever heard. Well, what do you know? Every once in a while, we get a TikTok from one of these people, like the one we just saw, that makes a whole lot of sense. And I couldn't agree more with that young lady. She knows she doesn't accentuate her feminine features, so when she goes out into the real world, she may get mistaken for a young man. And that's okay. It doesn't offend her. In fact, it sounds like she gets a good chuckle out of it every now and again. So I approved that message. Now, I don't know what was up with her tone. That was slightly awkward. And if you're wondering what word was bleeped out, it is a derogatory term for a lesbian and rhymes with Mike. You guys know how YouTube is. I'm just trying to stay off their radar. Hence the bleep. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you're all ready for another Crazy Clown World update. And without any time to waste, let's get into it. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, if you place your attention on the screen for a moment, here we have a picture of Alicia leaning up against a brick wall with the Pride Angel Wing mural painted on it. Now, Alicia is a biological male who identifies as a trans woman and also a lesbian, and I'm assuming uses the ladies' restroom. Look at me, I'm a big fat slob! Now, for those of you that saw the last video, you may recall I showed a picture of a young black woman holding up a book that was titled, What Would the World Be Without Black People? And I was actually shocked by some of the comments. Some people were very offended and actually calling me a racist when I literally didn't even say anything. I simply showed the picture, followed by a clip of female rap artist Stinky Red. Excuse me, excuse me. Sexy Red. Now, I don't know how that makes me a racist. But anyway, here is another clip of Stinky Red, excuse me, Sexy Red doing a photo shoot on a public sidewalk when what appears to be a security guard walks in front of the camera. And this is the altercation that follows. Roll the film, please. Walk behind. You see, I'm taking a picture off that head. I don't care about you. Security guard. You told that whooped out here on the mm -hmm. Fake police. Rent a cop. <laughs> No, walk in front of my pitch. What is it with you people? Hey, where are the white women at? Uh, what do you mean? You people. So there you have it. You got this guy who probably just got done with a long shift at work, walking home, down a public sidewalk, not paying attention, and walks in front of the camera by accident. So what does she do? She starts calling him names. He turns around and says, I don't care. She then proceeds to demean him followed by threats. I just can't imagine a world without Stinky Red. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, next up. So this one is, well, slightly alarming. Roll it. My pronouns are they and them. Because I'm literally two fucking people. Are you f***ing crazy? Huh? Alright, real quick, before we go any further, I just wanted to let you guys know that... Hang on, what is that? It's this weird beeping noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's driving me crazy. I hope it's not my smoke alarm. Give me one second. I think I can fix it. Hang on.
the f*** is this? All right, I think I fixed it. Yeah, we're good. All right, sorry about that, guys. I do apologize now. Where was it? Oh. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know if you're enjoying the videos, you like the content, you want to help support the channel, grabbing one of these t-shirts is a great way to do it. And here it is, the Revenge Tour 2024 t-shirt. Now, this is the most famous mugshot in the history of mugshots. So if you want to grab a piece of history, there will be a link to the t-shirt in the description box below. And I also have some other very cool designs you can check out as well. That is awesome. All right, next up. Now, some of you ladies out there might understand where this person is coming from. Nothing like a fresh set of manicured nails to get your day moving in the right direction. Roll it. Just got my nails done, and I have immediately started acting different. But thin fingers, not the fat sausage fingers. Now listen, I did go and get my very first pedicure a few months back with the wife, and I'll be honest with you guys, it did make my day a little better. Anyway, next up, so I haven't been to church since I was a little tyke. My mom used to bring me and my brother and sister. But from what I can remember, church sure has changed. Anyway, it's kind of hard to hear what they're saying, but if you can, listen closely and remember, it's not a cult. Roll it. Now, like I said, I know that was kind of hard to hear, but if you didn't hear a word they were saying, just to sum it up quickly, it was a church full of people with a bunch of drag queens standing at the front. I think it was that group Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, the whole church was praying to the rainbow community and to drag queens, and they were talking about equity and inclusion and affirmations and dismantling systems of oppression and blah, blah, blah. And like I said, it's not a cult. It's definitely not the new religion of the left. It's not. Anyway, next up, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Roll it. Because I feel like both, like a man and a woman, but I also feel like neither and genderless. Like I'm both, but I'm neither. I really ID with being like androgynous or like androgyny, but I also really identify with being a gender or nutwa and just having nothing. That's why I kind of like the term bi-gender, because I feel like I'm both, but also neither, so I feel like that works. But I feel like most of the time, when people hear like bi-gender, they just think like man and woman. I don't know, I think it's fun. There's so many different types of identities and expressions. I think it's all really interesting. So let me know what yours is. Boys are boys from the beginning. If you were born a boy, you stay a boy. Girls are girls right from the start. If you were born a girl, you stay a girl and grow up to be a lady. Hey guys, real quick, we don't have any sponsors for today's video. If you would like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below. And I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. Okay, enough. Get this off the screen, please. Wow. Oof. Oh my god, look at that whale! Alright, next up, we are going to get a pronoun lesson from this person here wearing the colored goggles. The comment says, I know you are they, them, 
but does being called ma'am she have the same effect as sir he? Huh? Roll it. A pronoun is a word to replace a noun. So my name is Chris, but you could say you, uh, we, um, I could say I, and those are all pronouns. She, her, he, him, they, them, those are all pronouns too. And those are the pronouns that we get to pick individually, whatever works for us best. I have chosen they, them as my pronouns. So you wouldn't say that I am a they, them. You would say Chris uses they, them pronouns. Does that make sense? We don't assume what someone's pronouns are because it's so personal to every single person. Trans or cis people, someone who identifies as a woman might not want she her pronouns and that's all a social construct what we deem male pronouns or female pronouns or gender neutral pronouns that that is a social construct that we have created words are a social construct right everything's a social construct but we can talk about that in a different video ah, that's it hold it right there pronoun trouble yeah so according to people like goggles literally everything is a social construct Anyway, next up, so this young lady is going to explain to us what goes through her head when people don't wear masks around her. Now, the be very beginning part is clipped off, and that's what she says when people don't wear masks around me, so... She goes into some dark places. Roll it. Masks around me, I think, you know... I don't pass... I don't like to pass judgments on people. Um, but I just... I just have knowledge about them, like observational. And the knowledge that I've gleaned is that you wish that Ronald Reagan was alive so that you could fillet him and dedicate your life to doing that. Either that or you wish and want to go to hell so you can fillet him there until he shoots hellfire and I won't say where, because I don't know. I don't know where you would like it. But that's that's what goes in the, on in my head when you don't wear a mask around me. Well, I'm going to take this damn mask off. Imagine going to those kind of dark places in your head simply because someone doesn't wear a mask around you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up on this one. Cause I know I can't take any more, so I'm pretty sure you guys can't take any more either. And, of course, we're going to be wrapping it up with everybody's least favorite former Vice President Joe Biden, and does he look tired? Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. So he just did a uh, speech at the UN, I believe, not 100% sure. Um, and this is about a three-second clip. So I'm going to let it play a few times, but I don't know what the f*** this man is saying. I don't know. Let me know if you guys can figure it out. Anyway, things are clearly getting crazy out there, guys. So please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll it. Now eat as you evolve our institutions. <laughs> Say what? Now eat as you evolve our institutions. Now eat as you evolve our institutions. Now eat as you evolve our institutions. I don't know what the f you're talking about. And you ain't black.